Singapore will be voting in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. And here's a look at what voters can expect when they arrive at polling stations. This is Block 535 Bukit Panjang Ring Road. It's one of 1,100 polling stations across the island. About 1,600 people are expected to cast their vote here this time. A drop from the 4,000 voters at the previous election due to safe distancing measures. Other measures include these reminders to ensure voters stay at least a metre apart from one another. Voters will register here by showing their poll cards, scanning their ICs and taking off their masks to show their faces. They will then queue up to collect the ballot papers over there. That's where they'll sanitise their hands and put on gloves. Once that's done, they'll head over to the polling booths right at the end to mark their ballot papers with a self-inking pen. They will then put it into the ballot boxes that will be placed right here before exiting. The process will be stopped every half an hour for the booths and pens to be cleaned. During the recommended time ban for senior voters, all election officials will don personal protective equipment. This includes a face shield, a mask, gloves and a protective outer layer. The presiding officer said officials are trained to ensure proceedings go smoothly and safely. We were told and advised to go through e-learning. That is where we learn on how to uh, take up further steps when dealing with COVID-19 during for this coming general election 2020. Another presiding officer in the polling station at Changcheng High School said the election officials did role plays to practice crowd control. We have a specified you know, timing slot. Uh, I would think that most Singaporeans would uh, adhere to the, the slots that's been given to us. She added that this will minimise overcrowding. Singaporeans serving their stay-home notices at two hotels will be able to vote tomorrow from the comfort of their rooms thanks to mobile polling teams. Four mobile polling stations will be set up at different areas at Marina Bay Sands and one will be set up at Marriott South Beach. 